thanks so much for joining us today. We just loved having you show all your amazing tips and tricks. They were just fabulous. But we wanted to know, as a working artist, how do you juggle creating new projects, teaching, going on the road, all of the things that are involved with that, running your business, and still being able to create new things? I think you have to make the time for the things that you really like to do. And I love to touch the fabric and sit and sew. Even though I enjoy teaching, I love doing that as well. But I really need to be able to design and create. So I generally take the month of August off. And I always say, I don't care who you are, I'm not coming. I'm gonna be home in my studio. And I love that space. It's disconnected from our house, but it's a very short distance. And when I'm in my studio, I made the decision, there's no phone line, there's no computer. My husband and my assistant know where I am. If it's an emergency, somebody can come get me. Otherwise, I'm in my zone, as my husband calls it. And I get in that zone and I'm designing and playing with fabric and yeah. having a good time. We also understand that you have a new architectural uh, piece of interest in your house. So tell us about that. We live in a very old house. The original part of the house was built in the 1840s. So the front part of the house, we've kind of kept to that feel with because it has beautiful woodwork. And, but then my husband retired and we had built a section on the back of the house where he had his office. And now we converted it into a very modern room and I loved it. And I said, I got a little bit out of my normal box of all my um, tedious, lovely little applique pieces and created something very simple with uh, very modern, straight, large pieces, and then had them framed and have them hanging in the wall, and I love them. But it's nice to get out of your box every once in a while. Well, thanks again for coming. We just loved having you on the show. Thank you.